This is Bluesy on page 49. Uh, we have a lot of going on here. It looks like a lot, but it's not too bad. Um, they recommend doing the finger talk on page 28 with your right hand and left hand, then hands together doing the pattern. It's just a nice warm up. And that looks like this. So we're looking at finger independence. You can do it on a flat surface and play the finger pattern below. So this one is one, two, three, four, five, three, one. Go ahead and do the same thing with your left hand. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, three, one. Go ahead and play hands together. One, two, three, four, five, three, one. That's just a good warm up to warm up those fingers for that finger independence. You also have another technique hand. It's to play the eighth notes lightly for speed and staying close to the keys. So if you were, <clears throat> excuse me, if you were to play it, play a lot faster, but just keeping your fingers on the keys and just moving those fingers. It's a very light touch, okay? Another thing is they would like you to do is um, play this pattern three times. The reason is, is this pattern repeats throughout the whole piece. So I'm just going to use any key that you want. It's a pattern of three, two, one, two, three. And the reason why they have that three on the outside is because you do have some flats to natural changes. So three, two, one, two, three, hold. Three, two, one, two, three, hold. Three, two, one, two, three, hold. This is just a great warm up to get your fingers ready for this song. So first thing I actually want to look at is the left hand. Left hand, you have a lot of ties, so you can really concentrate on your right hand. So left hand is C and G. Hold it for measure one, two, three, four. The measure four, you're going to hold it for three beats. Beat four gives you time to prepare for a hand shift. In measure five, you're going to be at your F and C. Hold for measure five, six, seven, and eight. Measure eight, you're going to hold that for three beats. Beat four, you're going to lift and hand change and measure nine back to that C, G. Hold for four. F, hold for four. C and G, hold for two. F, hold for two. And then on C, G, holding for four. Um, there are natural flat, natural flats throughout this whole piece. If you'd like to indicate that with a color, you can. And you'll notice that the accent marks are where those change to a sharp or a natural. Also reminding, if a flat is at the beginning and there's another note, it's going to also be a flat. You'll notice this is a natural measure three, but they want you to play a flat, so they're going to indicate that there. So let's go ahead and play this piece. I have it at 138 beats per minute. Remember, you start it way slower than that. Uh, but I just want to show you what it looks like at uh, rather fast. One, two, three, four. your fingers relax. Do that nice close to the keys for the speed. Another thing that you can do with this piece is you can give it that bluesy rhythm. So a lot of times it's that so you can always add that in. They don't indicate it but whenever you have a blues or a jazz piece, you can also do that rhythm. And that also gives a little interest to piece and a little artistry. So those are some things that they're focusing on here. It's really finger independence and playing close to the keys so you can play fast. <laughs>